Back here at Talladega, let's reset it for you. It's Kevin Harvick, Kyle Busch, Jamie McMurray, Brad Keselowski, Steve Arpin, and Joey Logano. That is your top six, as it looks like the lights are out on the pace car. And let's listen on the radio. Remember earlier Dave Burns reported he was talking about a headache? Here's the conversation again. If you guys can do it or not, but you can give me like some aspirin or something like that if you got anything. Got a really bad headache. And there they did deliver the aspirin. He continued around under caution and managed to pop a few. We did not go green. And they're going to hold Carl Edwards. They got him back out. And uh, he's going to get penalized because he drove up pit road backwards when that caution first came out. Yeah, that's a no-no. That's against the procedure. Uh, you can imagine why they have that rule. So come back down pit road. Yeah. They're going to hold us one lap. So for Carl, uh, it's... Well, he's already six laps down, so chances of winning oh, this And I'm sure he probably thought after getting bounced around in there, he wasn't going to be he back out for a he long time. He probably wasn't time. sure which way he was going anyway. <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm surprised how quickly they did get that car out. And uh, we can also tell you now that James Busher has been released. So has Michael Annette, Jason Leffler, and we already reported Reen Sorensen. We also should tell you the 66 of Stephen Wallace is now behind the wall as the damage is there. And I guess his broken foot is probably sore again. Kevin Harvick, of course, the race leader and the race winner earlier today in Sprint Cup action. We eavesdropped on his radio just a little while ago. Kevin, if you ever get in a spot where you start hitting the chip, the uh, box B's got 200 RPM higher chip in it. Do you want to save that for the end? I will need it because we're sitting around uh, leading about 75. So interesting data that we need to yeah. hold in our bank. Yeah, they, they build these engines to uh, be as light as possible. So they, they're kind of limited on RPM, so they put a, a rev limiter there so they don't do any damage. But they can bypass it if they need to. Let's clarify one thing. Kevin can become the first to win both a Sprint Cup and a Nationwide Series race in the same day. Kyle Busch won a Camping World truck race and a Nationwide race out in California a couple of years ago. So it was uh, February of 2009. In fact, it was just, uh, it seemed like two years ago, but actually just a little over a year ago. So that's the only other time that it has happened, but it's never been done with Sprint Cup and Nationwide. Lights are out on the pace car, and it looks like uh, this time by, we might get to go back to green flag racing as we have completed 27, almost 28 of the scheduled 117 laps. Pace car has pulled down on pit road. They'll come through the tri-oval. Look for the little white lines to the right there. That's where they can start accelerating. And right there, and green flag is out. And we're back to racing here at Talladega. Look at this action at the front of this field. Kevin Harvick side by side with Kyle Busch. Busch getting the push from Brad Keselowski and McMurray helping the 33. You can see how, now this is the way that drafting is supposed to be done here. Not running in hard to each other, but just tucked up tight. You can see how it's going to work here, and just like we saw in the cup cars. Yeah, they're touching all the way through the turns right here too, and this is something we really haven't seen yet with these cars, but it looks like it's working okay. And Joey Logano trying to get up into that mix as well. Oh. You can see McMurray got, he pushed Kevin Harvick away from him a little bit, and that allowed the 18 and the 22 to come flying by on the outside. And look at the speed differential as they open up about, oh, a seven, eight car gap just that quickly. Now, these guys were telling me it's a little more difficult to stay attached to those cars because they don't have, they've got a smaller plate in these cars than what they had in the cup cars. So that's why I was making it more difficult to stay tucked up like that. And now you see the gap between the 22 car and the 18 car. Uh, and now the outside lane coming with Harvick and McMurray. They're actually touching now. You can see just how big of an advantage that is. It's something like 88 lead changes in the Sprint Cup race today. We've had eight lead changes, five different leaders. Kevin Harvick has led the most laps with 13, but it looks like he's going to lead another one as he comes cutting down to the bottom. Here comes the outside. Keselowski's hung out, though. I don't think he's got no help out there. He's out there with all his friends. Well, here's one coming up behind him. And look how far he just slides on back. Like it was Shelby Howard that tucked up underneath him there. 
three wide a little bit further back. That's Brendan gone in the 62. On the high side is Patrick Sheltra. Here we go with the battle for the race lead. Jamie McMurray gets underneath the 33, and now Harvick is hung out. And here comes the parade. He's got a bird's eye view of everybody going by him. He needs some help. He's either got to tuck in or he's got to find some friends. He tried to tuck in. Yeah, but uh, the 32 of Brian Vicker said, no, no, I, I've seen this act. I ain't going to let you. And look at this. Look how far he is sliding. Yeah, that's where you have to get over here and get some side draft to slow one of those cars down a little bit, and then that will help somebody get behind you and hopefully open up a hole for you. He has dropped back and still sinking. He is back to 13th. Finally, he's got Trevor Bain behind him, and he ducks back in the line. But it's now up front with Jamie McMurray, Kyle Busch, Joey Logano, young Brian Scott, and Paul Menard. That's your top five. Yeah, and you were speaking of Trevor Bain there. He's done a nice job coming from back in the pack, uh, starting well back in the 30s and, and uh, up to 15th now. So he's getting uh, a good lesson here, learning a lot, but also running very well. The 09 going around him on the outside. That's Patrick Shelter, but Shelter doesn't have enough help to make it last. Let's get more on the 99 of Trevor Bain, Dave well, Burns. We, we talk, Marty, so often about strategies that fall apart here at Talladega. You can make a plan, but it'll never hold. Well, it might just hold for Trevor Bain. He's a rookie. He has yellow stripes on the back bumper of his car. He knows that cars are not going to necessarily push him to victory, but he's pretty sure he can push cars to victory. So that's what he did with the veterans in practice. He pushed the veterans, and he let them know that he's got a car that can help them win. Well, that is Scott Wimmer right in front of him in the 27. Rod, and we are going to step aside for just a moment. Jamie McMurray finished second earlier today. Does he come back and spoil the chance for the double for Kevin Harvick? Stay with us to find out.